We don't care if it's a day of rest on Sunday. Our job is still to give you these pick skin previews. So tonight on day 13, we're telling you about Alpine. We wrap up our final West Texas preview down south near the Big Bend with the Fighting Bucks, who went six and six last season. This year, Alpine storylines includes loads of senior leadership combined with a new head coach. For the first time since 2001, Alpine wasn't just in the playoffs, they advanced past the first round. This year, there's a new head coach in town who's quite familiar with the area, who's looking to take the program to new heights. I grew up out here. I was raised in, in born in, I was born in Alpine, raised in Marfa, and been gone for about 20 years, so it's been a great homecoming. Fellows jumps into an enviable position, especially on offense, with the entire offensive line, two receivers, and a running back returning but has the task of deciding between Jordan Frost and Isaac Gallego under center. I wouldn't consider it a battle. I'd, I'd consider it more of we both have our strengths and weaknesses and we're like a two-headed monster and you can put either of us in whenever for different packages. We'll probably end up playing both of them. I hope I'm not stepping too far out of bounds, but they both bring great things to the table. On the flip side of the ball, seven defensive starters return with speed and depth being heavily emphasized. We have a lot, besides the guy coming back, we have a lot of good players too. I mean, one person goes down, we have another backup that's ready there and ready to go. After a three and two record in district last season, the Bucks believe it's their district to lose this year. We want to win more playoff games than just one. We want to at least try to make it a state. If not, well then, at least, at least we accomplished our goals. The Bucks' first game is on the road against Monahans on August 28th.